Hello everyone, I'd like to share some facts. Angry Birds app sell your geoposition. Indeed, most of the flashlight apps do the same. Moreover, some apps pass on information from your microphone and video camera to their services, even then they are online. Information from your fitness band most probably will be used by self-insurance company when you would like to get coverage. Banks decide who would get a mortgage loan based on your search history and other information collected in the social webs. Some dating apps openly write in their privacy terms that they would store your information forever and use it for any purposes. Finally, it is legal to sell mugs with your children's photo if it is uploaded on Flickr. So, how can we afford that? We see that we completely don't manage our information. That means that we don't have any online privacy. And there is no surprising, because I've asked several friends whether they think that online privacy is important, and they say, of course yes. After that, I've asked them whether they think that their privacy rights aren't violated, and they don't know. I think this is the key issue of modern privacy. We don't know how our personal information is used. Indeed, facts that I've named before, they happen to all of us every day, because we all agree with privacy terms. Indeed, there are several reasons why this happens, why people don't know how their information is used. The first one is that we never read privacy terms, because it's just impossible. An average set of apps on the smartphone has privacy terms that consist of 900 pages, and it's impossible to read and to understand. The second reason is that they have lack of alternative apps with different privacy policies, or we just have big opportunity cost. Because imagine all your colleagues use Facebook to chat with each other. It will cost you too much even if you don't agree with privacy terms of Facebook. So you will use it and you'll have to agree with its privacy terms. Finally, most of the popular services that collect our data are offered for free. So it's a frictionless process. You just don't think what could happen with you if you use some service for free. But indeed, there is a huge impact on your life when Google or other services collect your personal data. Okay, so what is the impact? First of all, all information collected about you in the web can be used by such organizations as self-insurance companies or banks. For example, it can be a reason why a bank denied to give you a loan. We all know about personal ads. What's wrong with them? Because it seems like a good thing. They show you relative services and goods. But indeed, there is such a thing as subconscious manipulation. Some apps are shown to you based on your emotions. So you see them when you are most vulnerable and this can be a reason why you waste your money. There are much more other examples such as mugs with your children or selling your card credentials and others. So we can see that indeed there is a comprehensive impact on your life. So what can we do with that? I consider that the problem is that we don't manage our personal information. So we should take control over it somehow. The first idea is to create paid versions of common apps with different privacy rights so that people who don't care can use these apps as now for free. But if you don't want your information to be collected and analyzed, you'll need to pay some amount of money. The second idea that is much more easy to realize is to make summaries of privacy terms, because in that case, people would have an ability to read them at least and to realize how their information is used, so they will behave themselves more consciously. But of course, these steps should be taken by companies, and they most probably enjoy current situation, so they won't do nothing. And what we can do by ourselves is just to control what information we upload to the internet and what impact it would have. So, that's all for today. Goodbye.